Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Died. All right, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, they are finally what trying to declassify marijuana. I heard as about a this. Schedule one drug. I heard about this. So I don't know if you know what. What are the implications of this, Jonas? Do you, uh, are you familiar? Well, it will not legalize it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. federally no but it will um i think i don't know if it allows them to use the banks because i know they can't use they can't use banks for like like they have to use use cash for everything but basically it decriminalizes it some so because i'm gonna i I looked this up Mm -hmm. so schedule one drugs Mm -hmm. that so marijuana i don't know how you feel about marijuana i don't i've never seen it before i hear it i hear it people smoke it disgusting yeah um so you know, but most people are like, oh, it's natural, it's a plant, like people don't overdose on it, like, oh, it can't it's not that bad for you, right? So yeah. here's here's the drugs that it's it's linked with right now. Schedule one. Heroin. <laughs> LSD. Yep. Very Ecstasy. Good. Yep. <clears throat> peyote. I mean the man's not lying. What also is interesting is peyote is natural. And marijuana is natural. The other ones are not. But then, like, here, here's the thing that really, here's what really blows my mind. Schedule two drugs, which are one step below that. Yeah. Cocaine. F- what the hell are you talking about? Oxycodone, you fentanyl, Brother. Adderall, Ritalin yeah. are, are less. What? Are less scheduled than marijuana and peyote, which are naturally occurring things. Peyote, I mean, I get it. Peyote will make you trip and shit. But, like, yeah. Are you oh, okay? So look, I guess I was I didn't realize this. Schedule three drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ketamine, brother. Anab- <laughs> anabolic steroids. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so schedule four drugs: Xanax, Soma, Darcy. <laughs> so all of those, according to the government, better for you than marijuana. Okay, Just saying. so look, we we got to be real here. <laughs> We have to be real. Yeah. Jonas, are there negatives to using to using of marijuana? Of course. Right. What, what, what are the negatives? I what mean, are the negatives? You you could eventually get cause cancer because you're putting tar into your lungs. Um, honestly, Jonas, I did a, a collegiate report on this when I was when I was going to school. Okay. The smoke that you inhale from smoking a joint does not reach the parts of the lung. That it could cause cancer. Then why does can why does cigarettes they say do? Because the density of the smoke is different. It's been a long time since I've done a report, but I advise people at home to look into okay. the actual study that marijuana smoke cannot give you cancer. Okay, it does I mean, not reach the same I, I will, level of capillaries that cancer is most truth commonly not fine. We'll take it. Whether I fast. will I will say is that carcinogens are bad no matter what. But but you're also not smoking twenty joints a day. Like that, most people smoke cigar- twenty cigarettes that a day as well. So okay, but so the, uh, other negatives. Uh, other negatives I mean, to it, smoking. It can cause lack of motivation. It can, it can cause you to be lazy and not do stuff. A hundred percent. You can eat a bunch of food and get fat. You mean America? Yeah. Okay, I'm, uh, that's what I'm, I'm here in America. You, uh, you okay. might drive really slow. I mean, it's probably dangerous to drive. Uh, not 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 alcohol dangerous. Which is legal. Just right. want to say that. Oh, yeah. But you're just not supposed to, to drive you trust, trust us with drinking at 21. But, yeah. But, I mean. Can fight I don't for the country at 18. Ever, can't drink till you're 21. I don't know if there's ever been a confirmed case of marijuana overdose. Hmm. People have died from drinking. I would say that law of large numbers there probably has been. But, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't it know. It might have been related know. to marijuana, but not yeah. because you ingested too much marijuana. Yeah. You, you yeah, go to bed. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I, I'm too messed up. I'm going to sleep. You, I mean, you're not, <laughs> and that's essentially what it does. Like you do too much cocaine, you so, die. You do too much heroin, you die. Too much alcohol, you die. <laughs> Meth, you die. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you do. You can probably do too much peyote. Do, are you just? Did, were you going to ask me if I do peyote? I <laughs> know. I said. <laughs> I said you probably can overdose on peyote. I would imagine. Uh, I mean, uh, I I don't know, man. I don't know if you can. I don't know. I don't know. Medical, I don't see anything. Google. I was just Googling real quick to see if there was Medically anything on overdose. I didn't see anything. What I will say. You want to. You good? You good? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. What I, what I would say is like, it definitely needs to be brought down. 
because the fact that it is up there with some of the most like tragic habit forming uh, narcotics is a problem. So like from the list that you read, I feel like it, it's below even like the lowest tier. Because the lowest tier you said was like... Well, there was the one more tier below it, but it had other like prescription drugs. But yeah, Xanax and Darvacet and things like that. Like, yeah. I feel like the, the issues with like the opioid crisis, like that needs to be magnified way more than... Yeah, Vicodin was only a Schedule 2, which, See, is, which is like a goddamn epidemic. Yeah, Like, that shit's like highly addictive and it like, it destroys your internals, man. Like, there's a reason that... <laughs> I'm not about legalizing drugs. Jones said, let all drugs fly. That's what you say. You Wait, say, let's hold go. On. Wait, that's what you said. Maybe, uh, maybe. I don't know. Do you know I remember when we did a podcast about the country that was nothing that didn't. Decriminalizing that decriminalized them. Not all letting drugs, anyone do whatever they want. And then they just kind of like treated. And you kind of agree with that. Format. Yeah, you treat the habit, not. Don't put them in jail. They're just gonna become a criminal. All right, I say fuck that shit. Okay, and decriminalize and, and, and make this shit illegal because. I don't feel like people should be uh, should be able to hurt them. We don't want to be the country that allows people to hurt themselves. Even if we, I feel like we should still offer the help, but I still feel like you need to be taken off the street and help. I guess it's similar. Either way, look, what I want to say. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know where you're going with this, but it's let's a, go. It's a lot of drinking going involved tonight. One of us. <laughs> I, it's pod fuel. <laughs> it's pod fuel. Tell them about it. Either way. <laughs> I just want people to be safe. So I feel like it needs to be outlawed. So at least there's some de incentivization what, going weed? on. You need to outlaw weed. I feel like there should be, yes, I feel like there should be a certain degree of indent of what do you call that? De incentivization towards marijuana. I don't feel like it should necessarily be legal. Okay. I don't. Well, um, yeah, I don't, I don't. Wow. I sort of do feel I stand like, on that side of history? I sort of feel like, I don't know anything do that's natural. Like you can like grab it from something and put it in your mouth no. that like, cause here's the thing. Like it would be like peyote from a cactus. You just grab it. You eat it. No. Marijuana. You grab it off a plant. You smoke it. Mushrooms. You grab a mushroom. You eat it. Like eat, cocaine is natural, but it has to be processed. So I don't agree with that. But like any, like if you could just walk into the woods and accidentally eat a mushroom, why is that illegal to have? So you're going back to like like the the caveman like tribal type of thing, and I feel you. I really do. Like it's like your core, most visceral like Neanderthal needs. Your lizard brain is being like you go out in nature, you pick something up. I should be able to eat it. We're in 2024, so if I can order something, I should be able to eat it. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, like, right. like if I know a guy who can get if it's naturally occurring, like yeah. it doesn't have to go through some like LSD, okay. synthetic, chemically made. Like uh, you gotta produce it in a lab, right? Like I get it. No, and that's not to say that there aren't necessarily harmful things. Like if a motherfucker said I want to start like fucking snorting lava, like should snorting lava be illegal? Right. Yeah. Should right. snorting lava should be eating cow I'm asking shit you right illegal? now. Should like, snorting lava be illegal? I'm asking you. <laughs> no, because as it's human. naturally occurring. If, it's you're <laughs> dumb en if you're dumb enough, you want to put your nose in lava? Bye. But suicide is illegal. I, which I also have questions about. You have. Why? Why is it illegal to want to take your own life? I don't want to be the country that's like, hey, come here, you can kill yourself. Then it's not illegal. We'll just handle the body. Get the fuck out of here, man. My tax dollars got to go to but Rome. Like, so, so you're fighting Israel okay, and fighting on. Palestine. Hold on. So <laughs> I got to do you, those things. You decide what? you no longer want to be in this world, and you try to take your own life, and then you fail at it, and you got to go to jail. <laughs> so then you hate your life even more and know. then you're just gonna try to kill yourself again i don't know how we got from a marijuana conversation <laughs> so should you be able to kill yourself but welcome <laughs> to the crazy town podcast because that's where I, that's how we do it but yeah i don't think i, I think that that tr that attempt to suicide should be illegal so if i try to kill myself and fail i go to jail the point of laws is not to punish but to make things less palatable. How are you going to teach someone who's suicidal that when they failed at it, that going to jail is going to make them better? If a person that's suicidal is contemplating the pros and cons of suicide, the idea of if I fail, it could be legal action comes into their mind. And that is a reason that diverts them from that path. 
then I think it is a positive implement. That's a great point. I don't have anything to say to that. That is a wonderful point. And that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we have.